How do you deal with your insecurities when you are the leader of a large team, of a large organization? Well, don't tell me you have no insecurities because we all have moments in which we are short on confidence and in which we are filled with self-doubts, perhaps because of a past trauma, because of a recent failure we experienced or because we are perfectionists. The most important thing when it comes to insecurities is to understand how you tend to deal with them, especially when you are under pressure, when you have a really, really hectic day. Now, psychologist Robert Hogan, the creator of the Hogan Assessment Systems, says that we normally tend to deal with our insecurity in three different ways. We use three different coping mechanisms. The first one is we move away from others. The second one, we move against others. And the third one, we move toward others. Let's see what these three different coping mechanisms imply. The very first one, you move away from others. Well, these are people that are skeptical normally about others' intentions, motives. These are people that have perhaps feelings of mistrust toward their colleagues, team members, or toward the organizations. And these are people that are quite cautious. So when they have a lot of stress, they feel insecure, they perhaps tend not to take any decision. They are not assertive. So they are kind of avoidant people. That's why we call them, we say that they move away from others because eventually they become uh, reserved, withdrawn. And these are the type of people that you possibly see working alone, you know, please don't, uh, don't bother me today. So they move away from people. The second coping mechanism is when we move against others. Well, people that move against others when they feel insecure, they are actually extremely self-confident. They really become arrogant and they turn on their charm as much as they can to manipulate people, to make sure that people really turn their attention to them. These are the kind of people that want to be the center of the attention, they polarize, and they can be actually quite dominant. The third mechanism that we use to cope with our insecurities is actually moving towards others. What does it mean? In this case, it means that we become people who are very ingratiating, meaning we want to please others at all cost. This is the type of person in, in your uh, workplace that always says yes to the boss. It's a yes man. They never contradict the authority, the boss. Even if they are leader themselves and they report to the chairman or the CEO, they never contradict the authority. They never question uh, the authority. They basically are very, very compliant people, regardless of what they think and what their team members think. My question is, do you recognize yourself in any of these categories? Do you think you have any of these tendencies? So you, as I said, move away from people. You're the type of person who can be skeptical, reserved, do you move against people, you are really, you really want to be the center of the attention, highly charismatic, or you are the type of people pleaser? And do you recognize any of your colleagues' <laughs> behavior, coping mechanism here? Now, what to do? To be honest, this is, this way of coping are part of our personality. So, Let's say that it is not possibly possible to completely change your coping mechanism, but it is definitely possible to improve them, to contain the ways you react when you are feeling insecure. And the most important thing is to actually become aware 
of how you react when you feel insecure. So think about if you recognize yourself in any of these categories and ask other people possibly what they think. You can ask your colleagues, you can ask the loved ones, your loved ones, they probably know you very well. And of course, you can always decide that you want to take the Hogan assessment test where you will find, find out in depth what kind of coping mechanism you use as a leader in the workplace and you will be able with your coach to put in place strategies and coping mechanism which will reduce, minimize the way you react, which I've said earlier, uh, they are free, they are moving away from others, moving against others or moving towards others. Let me say that three of them are not necessarily positive ways and positive aspects of our personalities. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you recognize yourself in any of these categories. See you soon. Bye.